さてこの旅のゲームはどう転ぶのか委ねるもよし抗うもよしいずれにせよわしに残されたわずかの命をトスに値する実に楽しい宴よ。In his dimly lit study, which was occasionally brightened by lightning, Kinzo kept mumbling to himself, laughing to himself. On the antique clock with an intricate design that was sitting on his desk, the two overlapping hands had begun to tilt to the right and separate from one another. The passage of time that accounted to 24 had returned to zero. And begun to start counting again. Rose. Toki no kizami to a chan kok na mono yo. Nihu yon o kazo eru tame ni ichi nichi o kake te tadori tsuki, so shte futatabi zero ni modoru. Nihu sanji goju kyu fun made wa tashka ni kazo e tadaru. Shkashi. 24時にたどり着くことはできたのだろうかたどり着けず再び0時に戻ったと考えればそれは何とも虚しいことよ No Is that not the same as a person's life? You live aiming for a perfect 24 and in the instant you reach it You return to zero. People may praise the pardon, saying that they did reach 24, but that is absolutely not 24. It is nothing more than zero. Washi wa chinau zo. Washi wa ikite 24 ni tadori tsuku. I mean, you are in your, like, your 70s and 80s, so you did reach 24. <laughs> I, I know the meaning, of, I kind of know, I kind of can see where they're getting to the actual meaning of what they mean by 24 in relation to the 24 hour clock. <laughs> But still, just this line, <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, the 24 is supposed to represent going past the daily clock. That's what they're going for, but. <laughs> Just the way it translates kind of gets me to the thought of him thinking, I'm gonna reach the age of 24, not I'm gonna break the limits of, you know, human life. Beatrice no Sumika na no dakara. Kenzo had been fumbling around with some tarot cards for some time. It looked as though he was trying to divine his own luck, his own propensity for victory, and doing it over every time he didn't like the result. The most forbidden action in tarot reading is to try predicting the same thing twice. It is a desecration to the result of the fortune telling. It also desecrates the existence higher than humans, which delivers signs through the tarot cards. However, Kinzo knew. The reason the tarot cards shouldn't be used twice was that, since it was nothing more than a random number generator. It was natural that if you read them twice, a different result would appear. Therefore, Reading twice was only forbidden to preserve the mystique of the tarot card's results. However, that didn't mean that Kinzo didn't take tarot reading seriously. Tenzo's interpretation of tarot reading, reading was done in a completely different way. That was to repeat the reading over and over until he reached the result most favorable to him. Without the slightest amount of compromise, It would depend on how he defined the result most、uh, defined the result most favorable to him. But if he demanded the best result in a strict sense, it would be the same as a simple roulette of luck, 
where he sought a arithmetic miracle. However, Tekinzo, who made miracles and numbers the basis of his magical power, this could come very much like a magic ritual. In other words, until the result he desired appeared perfectly, he would repeat the tarot readings over and over, turning his labor, conviction, and the feelings of his heart into a prayer. So that when it reached heaven, the result would be sub subliminated. This was Kinzo's personal magical interpretation. Therefore, even though the tarot cards Kinzo used were exactly the same as generally used tarot cards, the way they were used was completely different. <laughs> Kenzo stopped his hands for a second. It seemed the result he expected wasn't showing up. On the contrary, many bad cards that shouldn't appear shouldn't often appear were appearing repeatedly. And continuing to interfere with the miracle Kenzo wished for. <laughs> It seemed that Kenzo had taken some kind of sign from this abnormal course of events. But judging by the unlucky cards scattered over the desk, it was difficult to imagine that the sign had been a good one. For a while, Kenzo closed his eyes tightly, pondering something. Then, as the thunder roared, he made up his mind about something, took the telephone receiver, and dialed. Kenzo- Kenzo's not gonna be successful in this roulette! He's gonna be one of the first six! That's what's going on here! In front of the main entrance, Shannon was cooling her flush face in the frigid air. She had thought that George's proposal would surely come sometime. It wasn't as if her heart had been unprepared. And she nodded as an answer. Had she been reckless because of her youth? Should she have thought about her future more seriously? She found herself worrying that he might have thought of her as a cheap girl because of her immediate reply. Perhaps at least holding off until tomorrow morning would have given the impression of thinking more seriously. Now that she had already received the reading from George, Shannon kept fidgeting in embarrassment, thinking she should have done this, she should have done that. As she did, she heard the sound of footsteps coming towards her, splashing through the through puddles. She had immediately chased away the emotions welling up inside her. She grew stiff, thinking that she would surely be scolded for spending too much time in her secret lover's meeting with George. Oh, he's asking his furniture to protect him because he might. Yeah, he he got he might got picked for the roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Cannon was especially good at hiding his presence, like he was a cat. He was able to suddenly be there without anyone noticing, and leave in the same way. So, 
Even if he were the step in a puddle, the sound he would make would be far smaller than that of a of the rain hitting the puddles. Genji also had that ability. Well, in the first place, that was how the servants were supposed to be, even going by the name of furniture. Just like how desks and closets go unnoticed by members of the family. The servants also treated being able to show up unobtrusively when they needed to as their greatest virtue. In that sense, Chan's footsteps still strongly asserted themselves. She was also trying to hide her footsteps. But compared to Kanan and Genji, well, he could say she was a little more lively. Eventually, they reached the back door, and the three of them entered the mansion. Immediately, they thought they felt something. It wasn't quite a sense of smell. Rather, they felt it from the dust of their noses. And this hard to describe sensation, which you might call a sixth sense, allowed them to perceive that something was different than usual. That perception caused them to feel something that something tense was closing in on them. Realizing that, the three of them dashed up the stairs, aiming for Kinzo's study, still hiding their footsteps. When they dashed up the stairs, that smell of sweet poison particular to Kinzo's study reached their noses. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Also, was that the sound of something being added to the character sheet? <laughs> no, 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 tips. No, 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 that was the tip sound, wasn't it? Wasn't that the tip sound effect? Okay, I might be wrong. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Stop, 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 stop. Get, how do I get this out of my face? Thank you. I think that might have been an actual horror sound effect, not a, not something being added to the tips or grimoire or, I mean, grimoire, grimoire, not grimoire, grimoire, or character sheet. That was nothing like that. Oops. <laughs> After hearing Cannon, she looked at the door to the study. A scorpion pattern was engraved on the doorknob. A powerful magic repellent. The final barrier, which protected Kinzo himself. It had been broken. Of course, there is no change to the door to the doorknob that the eye can see could see. I'm gonna read that. Huh? Of course. There was no change to the, to the doorknob that the eye could see. However, they who could understand things that people couldn't perceive were able to recognize the dramatic change. Genji called in this way after knocking several times. But there was no answer from the study. His kids are already dead? Cannon put his ear against the door, searching for a presence inside the study. To protect the backs of the other two, who are watching the door, Shannon faced the other way, with her back to them. Prepared for the unexpected. Hoyakata-sama, 
Genji pulled a gold key out of his pocket. It was the only key to the study that existed, other than the one Kenzo held. He stuck it in the keyhole and turned it heavily. At a glance, that would have indicated that it was it really was a strong lock. However, the fact that the barrier had been destroyed meant that the store had long been open wide for anyone with magical power. The lock made a heavy sound, indicating that the door had been open to humans as well. As Genji respectfully bowed his head, and Cannon's sense of tension grew tighter, and Shannon acted nervous, they entered the study. They immediately discovered Kenzo's figure. He was sitting in a reception sofa so that his back faced them. Genji noticed the person sitting across from him and bowed and again bowed deeply. Cannon also noticed that person. And he didn't bow his head. He went in front of Shannon and spread both arms walking the way to her. So, without even seeing that person's face, Shen already had a good idea who it was. The Candles Dance! Ronoe and Ronove are meeting! <laughs> Genji directed his greeting towards the thin darkness behind and to the right of Beatrice, where nothing appeared to be. Even Canon and Shannon couldn't have imagined that someone would be there. However, the darkness answered immediately and praised Genji's eyesight. Why? <laughs> ますます <laughs> I don't think Shannon likes him. ねえさん。あいつは一体。カノン君とは会うのは初めてになりますね。私はメアトリーチ様の家具頭を任されております。ロノウェと申します。ゲンジさんの古い馴染みですよ。あなたと同じに私も家具です。the color of tension dis didn't disappear from Candace. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there, but let me repeat what I was saying. What the hell? <laughs> the color of tension didn't disappear from Candace's expression in the slightest. Serving under a different master, furniture could become kind, brutal. Or anything else is desired. If he called himself furniture, serving the hated Beatrice, then surely he was despicable. He was a despicable being as well. Wara wa mo 
すっかり嫌われたものだ坊主にくければ今朝までなんとかとはよく言ったものよ Beatrice openly sneered at Canon's hate filled face. Then, Canon finally observed Beatrice and Kenzo were enjoying a chess game, sitting and facing reception sofas. But Kenzo hadn't even quivered. He was holding his head with both hands, his eyes closed tight. As he comp- contemplated his next move. No, was he in anguish? Oyakata-sama. Warawa ga kinzo ni tsutaeta no wa futatsu. Yoi shirase to warui shirase datta. His ritual was successful, but he's gonna die! Yoi shirase wa. 儀式を終えずしてわらわと再会できる幸運を得たこと。Okay, I, okay, that's, that's a better, that's a better good news than I thought. 悪い知らせは、金蔵が儀式の一番最初の生贄に選ばれてしまったことだ。But that's what I expected. <笑>こればかりはわらわにもどうしようもない。実に気まぐれにルーレットにて決めたのだから嘘つけもて遊んで殺しているくせに<笑>よしてカノン君さて金蔵そろそろ負けを認める気になったのか<笑>これにて。Uh oh. At a glance, you couldn't tell the current situation on that chaotic chessboard. However, judging from Kinzo's anguish and Beatrice's malicious relaxedness, it looked as though it was already decided. ぜひもなしこれもまた一興かわらわもだそなたとの勝負に決着がつくことは万感の思いあれどもはや恩衆を超える楽しかったぞ退屈しない数十年であった Beatrice Advanced her queen and made her final move. It was thus decided. Checkmate. That is one of the most painful laughs that I have ever heard. Kenzo, Kenzo suddenly stood up and laughed, like an opera singer facing a full crowd and spreading his arms, as though he had succeeded in a century long plan. Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh my! <laughs> That is disturbing! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> That's laugh. Spack Clemson. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> like, for some reason, I can't stop looking at this. I can't stop looking at this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That laugh spat crimson. Crimson flames poured out from inside him. Spitting even out of his mouth, ears, and nose, and all at once, his body was wrapped in hell fire. But Kenzo kept laughing. The more he laughed, 
the more the hellfire spewed from his entire body and began to char him. Those flames became a brilliant light, which dazzlingly shone on the various magic tools throughout the room, and made their distorted shadows dance across the walls. Those shadows looked like the dead in hell, in ecstasy over Kinzo as he burned. Es ec ecstasy? That sounds pronounced, right? And for the one who had made a contract with the witch, and who had reached the end of that contract, it was an extremely fitting end. After laughing and howling in the roaring flames for some time, Kinzo flopped to the ground as though he was a puppet whose strings had been cut. And he's dead. Those incredible blazing flames disappeared as though they had burned up everything there was to burn. And afterwards, all that was left was a festering and burnt body that would, would make you want to avert your eyes. すごい。お前が言うか。ふさわしい死に方だと思っているくせに。なぜお前が姿を現しているのか。よしてかのんか。ベアトリーチ様を挑発してはダメ。<笑><笑> Oh no! Are the three furniture gonna get killed next? Sukari obie sasete shimai mashita ne. Wara wa wa tsukuzuku. Kanon to wa nakayoku nare no yo da. So kirai demo nai to yu no ni ne. They treat you smiled broadly, or perhaps wickedly. Cannon finally averted his gaze, obviously disturbed. His reaction was so different from what he had obviously intended that it made the witch and her butler laugh. Kanon, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know, I have begun to accept it when a character is about to die at this point. I have begun to accept it now. Cannon was brought to a sudden realization by that creepy laughter. The Atrici's reason for being here was not just to take Kenzo's life. The first twilight required six sacrifices. Kenzo alone wasn't nearly enough. And they had just nonchalantly come to this place. Hansinseyo <laughs> Kano. そなたらがここに訪れたから生贄に選ばれるのではない。生贄に選ばれているからこそ、ここに呼ばれているんじゃないか。Oh <笑> short number 600 million in C minor. They instinctively figured it out immediately. Six sacrifices were required for the first twilight. After Kinzo, how many more would you need to add up to six? In this mansion, the number five instantly made them think of the number of the servants here. Oh, wait! Oh, is this the chapter where all the servants are going to get killed first? That's <laughs> the Oh no! Well, this is gonna be the first chapter that all the parents are alive, but 
Oh my god! I was not expecting all the servants to be killed right here! Mm. But they can't go to the gold land now. Genji had agreed to the witch's heartless announcement in his usual manner. Without raising an eyebrow. Oyakata sama naki ato wa Beatrice sama ga ware ra no aruji. Sono motomi ni ojiru no ga ware ra no saigo no tsutomi da. Shano, Kano, kyo made yoku tsukaita. Sono roku mo kore ni te owari da. Genji was also this name. Bonashi Kagutoshite, Arata Hokori Yomimasu. Shano, you don't want Naiko. Hi. Oh, Joji Samaka, you are Okurata Soda. Sorry, the mon now, Minion one Naiko. Shannon had not yet reached as hot. Shannon had not yet reached as high of a philosophical state of mind as Genji. There are probably really were regrets left in our heart. She probably wanted to spend a little more warm time with the person of her thoughts, George. But she released herself from that. She took a single deep breath, and from that point on, the expression she wore was blank. <laughs> あなたも家具として達観したようですね。Well, if she does shed tears, you win. And that's what she, that's not what Shannon wants. She doesn't want you to win. So I see why Shannon is doing this. <laughs> But what about Cannon? ベアトリーチ様の苦手なタイプのようで。最近こやつめはだいぶ達観しよった。どうも前回いじめすぎたようだ。それを言ったらバトラムか。うん。わらはまだぬるいのか。それとも追い詰め方が下手なのか。<
わらわは退屈を何より嫌うそしてお前を除く二人が素直に死を受け入れるもので面白くないだからそなたにはわらわの期待を裏切らないでもらいたいものだ僕を慰み者にしようというのか Yes Canon realized that he was being provoked However No matter how much anger spurred him on His opponent was a witch He was furniture He had no chance of victory from the beginning But The witch was expecting that he would struggle in vain and writhe around And was looking forward to it. Just thinking about that was frustrating enough to get his blood boiling. Was disappointing the witch by refusing to resist, like the other two, the only way he could strike back at her? <laughs> Here we go! ゴーマンのルシファー、ここに。カノン、家具に魔女と戦えというのも酷な話よ。そなたがいくら怒りに駆られようとも、賞賛のない戦いでは希望も持てまい。無論、勝ち目のない戦いでは、わらわも退屈というもの。ならば、家具は家具。And we're doing this again! 家具同士で決着をつけてはどうか。それならば、勝てる希望も持てるであろう。The way, yeah, I can't e n o u g h、uh, fight Lucifer last time, I don't think. Wait, which sister was it he fought last time? It was Satan and, uh, Uh, was it Beezlebub? No, I don't think it was Beezlebub. It wasn't Leviathan. It was Satan and. Fuck, I can't remember the other sister. I think it was Beezlebub. Yeah, okay, yeah, it was Beezlebub and Satan that、um, went against Cannon the first time. Maybe? Or was it only Satan? Shoot, I actually forgot. <laughs> uh, No, a s m o s d i a s Yes, it was a s m o s d i a s Yes? Okay, I know that. Did I already forget the second game? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I think it was Asmos d i a s that was after, um. Yeah, okay, okay. It was Asmos d i a s that was after Jessica. And it was Satan who was after Cannon. And it was b e e z l e b u b that, um, killed Goda. That's what I remember. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But I know that I will be corrected in the comments, so please correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it was,、um, at first, Asmos d i a s that Cannon fought against. Well, okay, he first fought against a goat. And then it was Asmos d i a s and then Satan comes in to finish him off. And then later on, b e e z l e b u b killed Goda. That's what I think happened, yeah. Okay, as I think about it a little bit more, it made sense that b e e z l e b u b killed Goda because she is the gourmet of the sisters and is known for being a big and picky eater. <laughs> and of course, well, Asmos Dias killing、um, Jessica because she is constantly on the lookout for a boyfriend. I think, I think Satan, you know, getting cannon is obvious. I think Satan getting ca- cannon is obvious. <laughs> Anyways. Hm. Oh, so now I'm going to reach you, Sama. But I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit o t e b i 煉獄の七杭を打ち破ってみせよ。見事打ち破ってみせたなら、うん、そうだな。十三人の生贄にえを逃れることのできる五人を、そなたに自由に決めさせてやろう。おぉおぉ !Okay!Okay, I'm kind of, 
I kind of want to see who he chooses. So that I'm not sure if you're going to be a good one. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good one. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good one. But who would he choose? Okay, he's definitely going to choose the four、um, kids. <laughs> That's obvious, but who would be the fifth person? Who, who would be the fifth person? Kenner understood that he was being provoked. However, the witch's condition was very tempting. The evil ritual the witch and the rest were trying to carry out was, at this point, not something that Cannon cared about in the slightest. On the contrary, it was much more important for him to survive, be invited to the Golden Land, and have his wish granted by Beatrice there. そなたは家具は嫌だと泣いたなそなたの望み叶えてやろうぞ枕を濡らしてまで望んだ人間の体を与えてやろうぞどうだそうすればジェシカとも結ばれるぞ I thought she was gonna tauntingly call his name ちょうどよい黄金鏡へ招ける5人にジェシカとそなたを推薦すればよい。Oh, he's so, he's not gonna win this fight. <laughs> he is not gonna win this fight. <laughs> 自分だけが幸せになることに抵抗があるならば。さらに、シャノンとその思い人であるジョージを加えればよい。ほう。これで五人だ。十分ではないか、カノン。これだけのご褒美があれば、そなたはわらわを退屈させはしないよな。<笑> <おー! 笑> <笑> Moon. Beatrice couldn't hide her evil smile at those words. You're gonna fucking make me cry, Ken Ken, because I know how fucked you are this time. Just stop doing this! Stop fucking doing this! Oh, come on! <laughs> ah! Where's the fucking tissues? God damn it! <laughs> He hasn't even died yet! Oh, my God! Come on, Tad! Come on, Tad! だから若者は好きなのだ。ゲンジ、シャノンは下がれ。カノン、ルシファーは前へ。Here we go! 王瀬のままに。It's <笑> fucked!Where? <笑>気に入らないわ。ベアトリーチェ様は無理でも。私にだったら勝てるかもしれないという見下しが最高に気に入らないわ。That was probably humiliating to Lucifer. But at the same time, she was also happy that she was so lucky to have this lovely play to all to herself. 来い。魔女の家具。いつまでも僕を見くびることができると思うな。Here we go. Alright, that was、um, Lucifer's attack. That's Cannon's attack. Oh? 
Okay. It seems like Cannon's getting a good upper hand. Lucifer strikes, Cannon strikes, Lucifer does multiple strikes. Cannon, I think, blocked. Whoa. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Alright. That seems to be a good strike by Cannon. あやつ。サタンの時よりも筋がいいではないか。だから人間は恐ろしいのです。たまに魔女にまでなり、悪魔を羊扱いにしたりいたしますよ。わらわはどちらを応援すればよいというのかこいつ私と互角に渡り合うというのおお僕を見くびるなお前にその奢りがある限り僕には決して勝てない Ah her sin is Coming up to bite her in the ass. I will give this seven Lucifer to the seven Lucifer. I will not lose. This is a mess. I think Cannon has the. Does Cannon have the... Is Cannon winning? <gasps> oh! Is he about to defeat Lucifer? Holy shit! Cannon was desperately trying to stay alive. And he had the strong desire to become human. But, Lu but Lucifer didn't feel anything stronger than a slight desire to play. So, that reached its inedible result. For the ability to yield such a result is the power of humans. The power of the heart. A glowing red trail extended straight out from Cannon's arm, pointing at Lucifer's throat, just beneath the tip of her chin. What? As she ground her teeth in irritation, she tried to deny the reality right before her eyes. But no matter how much she believed in her in her own su superiority, it didn't change the facts right before her eyes. Organ short. Organ short. Number six hundred million in C minor. Yorunakano, miigoto da. Wara wa o taikutsu sase nakatta. Sore ni kurabe, wara wa no kagu no nan to nasake nai koto ka. ブルシュは、お嬢様を退屈させていますよ。やはりあなたには苦かついた相手でしたか。失望するぞ、七食いの長女。That. <笑><笑> Would have seemed like nothing more than a simple rebuke to an outsider. However, Furniture Serving the Witch knew what kind of severe treatment was promised by that rebuke, and understood what had been left unsaid. <laughs> Abandoning her last bit of pride, she made her body explode, exposing her true form. That form was a demon stake, which bounced and deflected off the walls all over the room. Oh, 
っすりざっくり貫いて真っ赤な血の噴水を天井にまで届かせてやるよ死ねハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ<笑> Did he catch Lucifer? これだから人間は恐ろしい。紅茶はいかがですかな今はよい。紅茶もいらぬほどに面白い。So, Pride was the downfall of Lucifer. That's kind of ironic. <laughs> the floor was stained with dripping blood. It really was Cannon's blood, but it wasn't flowing out of his chest. Cannon has sacrificed his own left hand to protect his heart. He caught Lucifer. He caught her. <laughs> You're still fucked though. I just know. I just know. Even though Cannon is gonna win against Lucifer, Beatrice is gonna pull some BS and then kill Cannon. That's what's gonna happen. Some BS is gonna happen and Cannon's gonna get killed anyway. I am not trusting this scene alone. There's been so many close calls with Cannon that I know for a fact he is screwed. Cannon had sacrificed his own left hand to protect his heart. Black Liliana. Here we go. Lucifer was arrogant. Even though she had been given enough time to realize that this was an opponent capable of courting her. Even so, in her pride, she had believed that he was a worthless opponent. She had gotten careless. So, just as she had announced, She had aimed for his chest, trying to pierce his heart. Because she was so arrogant, she hadn't even thought of aiming for somewhere other than the place she had announced. No, maybe she had thought about it a little. However, her pride would not allow her to aim for a different spot. Because she was Lucifer the Proud. Cannon was standing the pain, grasped the demon stake, steep, sticking deep into his left hand strongly with his right, and pulled it out. The sound of breaking bones and even more blood dribbling down could be heard. Shannon instinctively averted her eyes. There was an air hole in the back of the pierced hand so big that you could clearly see through to the other side. Cannon's face was filled with agony, but in this very moment, he had won without a doubt. The demon stake he was gripping with his right hand turned back into Lucifer again. Cannon. Was now gripping exactly where her neck was. Cannon <laughs> didn't hold back at all with the hand gripping Lucifer's throat. She had challenged him again after their fight had already been decided. Cannon had no obligation to be considerate. But even so, Kano released the witch's furniture. With his naive humanism, his pity for another piece of furniture, or a final show of respect to the witch, 
In any case, when she was released, Lucifer fell face down on the ground and made as if to vomit, moaning over the pain in her throat. Renove was clapping his hand was clapping with his hand. <laughs> this voice is kind of messing me up, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna do it still. Renove was clapping his hands to Kanan, who had achieved a difficult victory, incurring a wound on his left hand that couldn't be closed. That applause seemed nothing but shallow. I'm just awaiting for some BS that's going to get Cannon killed. Shannon ran up to him and wrapped a handkerchief around his left hand, which was still spraying blood. <笑>見事<笑> Canon, no matter what, even though no matter how screwed he was, he had a great victory here. いや、約束を忘れてはいないだろうな。Right before he says his choices, something's gonna kill him. Be Whoa. She's in the chandelier now. Beatrice twirled her pipe, and heaven and earth turned over just for Lucifer. <clears throat> so, as a horribly natural result, she fell onto the ceiling. The ceiling doesn't seem that high to people standing on the floor. However, people who fall fall on it upside down and head first surely don't feel the same way. Bonjour, さすがにやりすぎでは。それもそうであるな。許してやるか。Beatrice <laughs> spun her pipe again. When she did, the magic that had been affecting Lucifer was released. So, as a horribly natural result, this time, with extreme legitimacy, she fell back up onto the floor. <laughs> Poor Lucifer. Beatrice-sama, <laughs>
まだ終わっちゃいないだろうが何をだはぐらかすな He's gonna have to find another piece of furniture. What isn't he? Warawa was Tascani Sonata to Yaksukistazo. Warawa no Kag. Then Gok no Nanaku yo Uchiabutta Nara. Night eyes! I knew she was gonna pull this bullshit! Sa, so we did not say. Then Gok no Nanaku. Who guy next to Joe no Rokuni no Imoto? Here we go. Yeah. With shrill laughing voices, the air split, and gold sprayed everywhere as the remaining six of the seven six of purgatory purgatory show themselves. Wow, <laughs> I mispronounced purgatory. How did I do that? All of the seven sisters of purgatory, only one of which Cannon had been able to defeat by sacrificing his left arm, was gathered. By now, Cannon regretted his thought thoughtlessness in accepting the witch's challenge. He had been foolish to assume that a game with a witch would be be on an even footing. Yes, sir. <laughs> お前たち。だからお姉様はダメなのよ。長女を偉そうに名乗るくせに、上っ面だけなのよ。ええ、まったく。ルシファーお姉様一人の集体が私たちへの評価を下げるのよ。恥を知りなさいな。この未熟者だ
Purgatory. <laughs> Purgatory. <laughs> I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna read these lines in my normal voice. The seven sisters of Purgatory taunted their elder sister, calling her worthless, verbally abusing her. Even Cannon, who had been fighting her for his life until a second ago, couldn't bear to look straight at it. <laughs> どうせお前一人ではラチが開かぬわ。早く七姉妹にてカノンを撃て。ソロ、どうしましたかルシファ。お嬢様の命令ですよ。ひどい。<笑> Lucifer ground her teeth over and over, hurled curses at her sisters, and then, as she trembled all over, she answered her sister's request. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Man, this is this is cruel. This is just cruel, man. <laughs> she was finally unable to endure saying those degrading words. And the girl, bearing the name of Pride, broke down crying. However, the six younger sisters kept giggling cold-heartedly. ちょっと。泣いてごまかさないで。まだ言ってない。もう十分だろう。さあ、姉妹たち。我らの力を見せてやろう。私は全部聞かなきゃ満足しないわよ。ほらほらお姉様、続けてよ。もう十分よ。Final curtain version C. さあ、この屈辱は姉妹全員の屈辱。生かして返しはしないわよ。さて、俺の家具をどのように遊んでやろうかしら。<laughs> so I keep on hearing the Pirates of the Caribbean theme for this song. <laughs>はいはい。ベルゼンは仲良く7人でカノン君を分けっこしたらいいと思います。良い提案だな。それでなら姉妹でみんな仲良しだ。なら私、トーブね。手足はあんたらにあげるわ。やだやだ、ダメ。私が頭なの。そんな約束意味があるわけないでしょ。早い者勝ちに決まってるわ。どんな殺され方がいいか、カノン君の提案があったら教えて。<
god. Oh god. <laughs> that would be the worst thing to hear before you get killed. <laughs> that would be the worst thing to hear. I'm gonna play it one more time. It just sounds so unnatural. But it fits so perfectly for the, just the energy this scene's supposed to give. Just the feeling this scene's supposed to give. Just the way they presented all of them responding to Lucifer. Just is so horrifying and yet so amazing at the same time from a, from a storytelling perspective. Would I want that to be the last thing I hear? No. Cannon is mighty Morphin fucked. The seven of them burst at once. They had no desire to play or post. This time, they would genuinely follow their master's order. Slay Cannon, swiftly! The seven sisters jumped around the room, faster than the eye could see, deciding how they would kill Cannon. They tortured Cannon with their cruel giggles, sometimes making a close pass at him. They kept scraping his arms, shoulders, and cheeks, carving red lines into his body. At that time, Shannon dashed up behind him holding on to him so that she... <laughs> well, at least Shannon, you know, is trying to protect him at the last moments, but yeah, she's also very screwed. <laughs> at that time, Shannon dashed up behind him, holding on to him so that she blocked the way to his body at least a little. Whoa! <laughs> okay, she even brought up her barrier! Honestly, I'm, I have no hope of their success, so that's why I'm more or less, you know, just wanting them to die already, because I know they're screwed. Like, th these are the question arcs. There's no way they're going to win, so why should I get my hopes up? <gasps> At the same time, a red cylinder wrapped around the two of them, like a beam of light sent from heaven. That cylinder repelled the evil ones who tormented Cannon. Scorpion Guts. <laughs><笑><笑> シャノンを私たちの獲物にしてもうん。ああ、かまわんぞ、好きにしろ。混ぜて混ぜて道にして反対にしてあげるおう。バカね。それよりあの結界を破る方が先でしょうか。クイジより先に仕事しなさい。はい、お願いします。As horribly as a horribly natural first action. The seven sisters began to destroy the barrier Shannon had created. Shannon's barrier certainly was extremely strong. It was enough power to impress even Beatrice. It was strong enough that frail furniture would turn into dust just by touching it. And it was firm, like a tree with deep roots. But no matter how big a tree gets, it would eventually surrender to a saw or a hatchet. 
For the Seven Sisters, stripping down Shannon's barrier, while it was a pain, was not impossible. <laughs> the sound, like beetles jumping around, grew even more fierce and filled the room. They cut up and steadily eroded away that red barrier, as though with a hatchet. S a saw? No. A chainsaw by now. Shannon spoke back resolutely as she covered Cannon, who was already spent of all his energy and sprawled on the floor. さあ、<笑><笑> <笑>どうにもそなたはこのところ面白みに欠けるな。恋というやつは達するかどうかのあたりが一番面白い。達してしまった後の女は<笑> そなたにはもう飽きた。ありがとう。魔女から聞ける言葉で最も嬉しい言葉です。Whenever <笑><笑> Shannon makes that face, you know that she already knows she is going to die. Like that face of hers whenever she makes it. I feel like that's the face she makes whenever she knows she's about to get killed. なら攻めて最後に笑を思いっきり喜ばせる死に方をしてみせろよ。七姉妹を聞こえたな。シャノンの殺し方、お前たちの残虐の限りを見せてみよう。シャノン。<笑> ございません。やはり私には現氏様の高みには至れませんでした。姉さんはバカだ。僕なんか放っておけば姉さんまでひどい目に遭うことは。うん。いいの。ジョージ様に指輪をもらって女として生きられた。あなたを代わって。I just love it how the characters outside of the barrier are shown in, are shown in, are shown outside the barrier in their sprites. I just love the way it's presented. Like seeing Beatrice outside the barrier. I don't know, that just makes me happy. What's the difference of smell? <laughs> その未練が。あなたの正体なの。未練じゃねえ。それが生きるってもんだ。指輪もらったから死んでもいいとか。理解できねえ。<笑> 
っぱりがっかりがくぜんぼうぜ<笑>全然ダメだぜ<笑> Baller's really rubbing off on you, Beatrice. お嬢様少し品がないかとおうるさいわカグがシャーノン楽に死なせてもらえると思うなよ舌を噛むなら今のうちだ哀れねもしも私の目にあなたのその姿が映ってそれが見えるなら安心しろよてめえはそれよりさらにめちゃくちゃぐちゃぐちゃに生きながら醜く潰してやるからよ Genji softly entered the red barrier. <laughs> Maybe that barrier didn't block those without ill intent. Then Genji softly held Shannon from behind and covered her eyes with his right hand. Genji sama. After that, Genji is. Oh my god, Genji was merc just mercy killed. Ch- Genji's mercy killing Shannon. After that, Genji softly pressed his left hand against the area around her collarbone. As he did, from the area where that left hand pressed, a crimson stain gently spread out. When Genji removed his hand, bright red, fresh blood oozed out of there. For just the very, in- for just the very first instant, it appeared to be shaped like a crimson rose. And when he removed the right hand that covered Shannon's eyes, There was a peaceful expression on her face, as though she was sleeping. And she fell softly, silently down, and slept. End of a daydream. Her soul had already been sent to a world where the malicious witch and her furniture could never reach her, no matter how evilly they tortured her. Beatrice and the Seven Sisters were shocked by the scene. Only Renove had a mysterious expression along with a smile. Then Genji leaned over Cannon, who was crouching on the floor. Just as he done with Shannon, after gently covering Cannon's eyes with his hand, Genji gently covered the area around Cannon's collarbone with his other hand. And when that was removed with the lightness of a feather, there was a crimson r o w shape. But that rose shape quickly turned into the stain of bright red blood pouring out. それでこそ家具ですありがとうございますそれではベアトリーチェ様ロノウェ様
これをもって私の最後のお務めとしおいとまをさせていただきます<笑>わらわの楽しみを勝手に奪いよってこの二人をギッタギタのぐっちゃぐちゃにしたかった分そなたがそれを変わるのであろうね Beatrice faced him with an unsatisfied expression. But Renove spoke quietly to Genji with a soothing smile. Go Kuro de Shita. Anata wa watashi no saiko no shimobe des. Korema de no ro o negirau ni atai suru yasraka na nemuri o. Anata e no saigo no hobi to shite to rase masho. When Renove snapped his fingers, as if Genji was a puppet that had been crumpled from his strings, from his strings being cut, suddenly and yet gently, he fell, sprawled on the floor, into a sleep that witches can call him back from. That was filled, that was as filled with kindness as the sleep he had given Shannon and Cannon. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I think Genji just became my favorite servant. <laughs> お嬢様は偉大なる大魔女ではございませんかこの程度気に留めるほどにもございませんよシャノンごときの挑発で頭に血を昇らせるなどらしくもない What was there that Bei Chuchi didn't like? Was she still unable to remove the thorn of Shannon's words? Renove laughed lightly, as though lamenting the complexity of the human and the female heart, and ordered the seven sisters to go. After all, there were still two sacrifices left for the first twilight. The seven sisters cavorted as they disappeared. God. Holy shit. Okay, I was not expecting that last part. I was not expecting that last part. Madame Beatrice. Oh my god. Holy shit. I was not expecting that last part. No! Okay, okay.